Good morning, pals. It's uh, Eric. It is 49 degrees outside Feb, uh, <laughs> February on September 15th. And uh, <clears throat> the kids are off to school. Kelly went off to work, unfortunately, or otherwise she'd be with me. But I just figured I'd get an early morning ride in uh, before I have to start work. And I uh, wanted to test out different positions for the mic and whatnot because the internal helmet mic... If I put it too far to one side, it's a little boomy. If I put it too close to my nose, you can hear every breath I take and every move I make. I'll be watching me. So anyways, trying a slightly different position to see if it makes a difference. And I figured I'd just zip up and down, maybe middle or some local hill, just to kind of get some uh, ride time in. We are at almost at 1,600 miles in the first season of this Royal Enfield 350 and it's been a blast. I'll talk a little bit about that. Why don't we ride? Let's see if my helmet fogs up when I close the lid. It's going to be a chilly one. So, a little bit of a mic test and see if I'm at extra boomy or not, uh, or if the wind's coming through quite a bit. But one way or the other, like I said, it's almost 50 degrees. Uh, I think these gloves are going to have to be, I was looking for my gauntlet gloves, a little bit beefier than these, uh, which these have been great. Um, but I think that the gauntlet ones are definitely warmer and it's already chilly but we're planning on riding as long as we can and if we get a good day here and there in the middle of winter sure we'll take the bikes out um, I don't have a choice Kelly's gonna go anyways so I may as well go with enjoy the ride look at that steamy right off that water there One thing I neglected was to have any sort of a scarf for neckwear on. So that'll be a reminder. This is a reminder ride. What do I need to start wearing, doing, as we approach the cooler seasons? Last night it went down to like 40 degrees, maybe 41. So I don't mind it at all. Uh, I'm absolutely a fall guy. I love fall. It's always been my favorite season. I'm very into Halloween, Samhain, all that good stuff. It warms my heart. Don't get me wrong, I love spring and summer and marginally winter, but it's like the best views. Visually, I can check out on the bike and all that stuff. Super happy to do that. Early morning farmer's field over there. It's so great. I've only got about an hour before I gotta be at work. Which is just enough time for a little ride in the chill. Look at that pumpkin stand. Yeah. Land Pro Tractors. More farmer's fields coming up. I'm not sure how the GoPros are picking up the differences in light. But with the GoPros, we are thinking about either picking up another 9, Hero 9 or uh, Hero 10, and if you have any experience with those, let me know if the 10's really worth it in the comments, because we're definitely going to get one. Alright, I gotta say, it is so chilly right now that I am tearing. <laughs> or maybe it's just that I'm so happy I'm on this ride. Look at this road. Come on. Total roller coaster. An off 
often not too uh, trafficked. Although when you get a local little pickup truck on it, they're going to be right on your butt. And everybody's got pickup trucks out here. Glad I've got the shield on. It's just so great. some weight so I can fit my hoodie underneath this thing. I ain't gonna fit a peanut butter sandwich under this jacket right now though. Actually that's pretty thick. Themselves, but uh, maybe somewhat in an urban decay sort of way, but uh, juxtaposed against the background, the plume of smoke looks very nice. I must say, I, I don't lost it to it. I did. Birds, well, there it is. I don't know if you can even pick it up with a GoPro, but unless that's a house fire or something, in which case that would suck. Yesterday was a busy day for our fire department. We had to drive out to pick up a new uh, skid for the back of one of our trucks. Now we have the ability to have a uh, smaller truck with a tank on the back for smaller emergencies. And uh, we got a fire call. During that fire call, we had DMS call. So I drove engine one out to the fire call, and then uh, the chief directed me to go with another chief to the EMS call, because I'm EMS as well, and they had to go back and pick up the fire truck. <laughs> it was just that kind of day. And that was all in between meetings and everything else. But I like being busy. It keeps me away from wanting pizza. this time of day is all drivers need to worry about watching out for the deer. It's nice and crisp and they're all frisky and moving about, getting rolling. But bikers especially. Kelly's so funny, she uh, told me I shouldn't call her deer anymore when we're driving on bikes because obviously it startles her. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to have to find my gauntlet gloves. They're actually Harley gauntlet gloves from when I had my Harley. But they're, oh shit, there's a deer right there. Look at that. Hey, that's a good jump. Keep going. You got it. Good job. Didn't I just say? Didn't I just say? All good. They just doing their thing. Anyway. Yeah, my fingers are pretty cold. <laughs> but dang, this woke me up, didn't it? I'm glad I did it. I'm always glad I did it. Lately I've been so busy I haven't felt like uh, taking the quick trips for 
lack of resting. <laughs> but thankfully, Kelly gets me out every single time. And uh, you know how it is, even if you're having a crap day, you get on the bikes and 15 minutes later, all that crap washes away. It's one of the great things about motorcycles is that you cannot be anywhere else. It's like pinball. Like, you have to be on the motorcycle. And experience all the feels. What a great stress reliever. What a great anxiety reliever. I suppose it would do the opposite to some people. I don't know, but I've always been an adrenaline junkie, so that's part of the problem. Here's your problem. Here's your problem. You're an adrenaline junkie. When I was a youth in the 80s, I was an avid skateboarder, punk rocker, <laughs> played in tons of bands. Um, I still skateboarded into the mid-2000s. I broke my ankle and got into Thrasher Magazine, which was the highlight of my career. It's a almost 30 year old. That's how I roll. And uh, my one band, which I'm still in at the ripe age of 50, it's called The Pavers. And we are still getting together on Wednesday nights and trying to put out new music, but you know, everybody's been so busy. So we'll see what happens with that. But if you're interested in what that sounds like, just YouTube the pavers and uh, you'll hear those tunes probably. Either that or you'll get videos of people laying concrete blocks, which is kind of similar, I suppose. But we toured all over the world with that band and uh, pavers went to Japan. We were all over Europe and UK, uh, even Canada all across the states. It was a great, great period in my existence that taught me a lot. Never made any money at it, but that's art for you. Art Garfunkel. That was him on that motorcycle.
doesn't really look it like it probably, but we are going up and up rollers here. Quite a lofty uh, hill. Um, can't see it in the rear view side view either, but uh, if you could see the back, you'd see how high we were heading up. But I'm cruising 60 uphill. We to the bike and myself being 290 again. No problems. Dip in the valley. So we're at sixty on a pretty steep portion. I'm in fifth gear, and you can see the speedometer is heading down We're almost to 50. Get down a little bit more, I might have to pop it into four, but I think we're all right. Crest of this one. Escuela. You can kind of see how high we are with this valley. We'll be heading back up to that side. Although this side is not as steep as the other side. Picture that's a little farm over here. Well, I don't know if that's little. It's a vista of the uh, area to the west. Nice little section of uh, the road ahead, some farm lane. What a great way to start the day. The sun's down pretty high. Pretty quick. Definitely tell the seasons are changing. The temperature hasn't come up much though. <laughs> tell you would. blown on here. Now I have to accelerate to wash all that off with the wind. Again, balance in nature. I guess I'll take one little extra leg of the journey.
just because this little view here is pretty cool. One more little extra, extra lap. Because, come on. You know, work's always going to be there. I'll get everything done. Always do. But this is actually life. No dress rehearsal. It's tragically hit him so profoundly stated Mr. Gordon Down. I'm to get a quick one. Let's go here. Go around this little uh, farm area. By Bonds Meats. Coming through here in a couple of short weeks. It'll be really pretty, I guarantee. The uh, trees kind of encompass the road up here, and it's all going to be all fall colors. Then it'll be sticks. Tomo ericato, Mr. Robanto, Tomo Tomo, Tomo Tomo. It's so cool. Everything looks so cool. You notice so much more on a bike, don't you agree? I don't know if you're a comment type person, but please feel free to put in the comments some of your favorite just visceral experiences on a motorcycle, like the smells, the sights, obviously the sights. Driving through slightly rustling leaves, as long as they're not wet. <laughs> and too dry, because I guess that'll be slippery too. What do you like to see and hear and feel? And if you happen to have a rider blog yourself, or vlog, I guess it's a vlog, put a link in the comments. Talk about it a little bit. I mean, on top of being a motorcycle community, we're all connected and friends that way, regardless of who you are or what you're doing. Put a note down there. Explain yourself. Put a link. Unless you're a scammer or a spammer, then you can G to H.
slow down a bit for the view, just because this is one of my favorite vistas here. Just coming around the bend. You got the hills that flank our little village. You got the blue bridge. It's like Sleepy Hollow or something. They should have named this place Sleepy Hollow. All those spring those are, right? As far as names go, and otherwise, it's a very little community. side note see this field here in the village this was the original uh, place of the Erie County Fair back in the day not any time recently but stones throw from the home well I guess I will sign off here I gotta get back and get tuned in to the video editing for the office and uh, thanks for taking a ride with me take care talk soon